Tonight we go in-depth into a claim made by Republican gubernatorial candidate Greg Gianforte. Mr. Gianforte suggests Governor Bullock, his opponent in November, should sell the state's airplane because it's costing taxpayers too much money. In fact, he told ABC Fox Montana yesterday that it's costing taxpayers $2 million every two years. Rex Harlan joins us now live from the Missoula newsroom. And Rex, you found that isn't exactly true, is it? Yeah, it's misleading at best. Greg Gianforte held a press conference yesterday morning urging Governor Bullock to sell the state airplane, citing too much taxpayer money going into it. That appear the problem appears to be his math. The challenge is that this plane costs $2 million per biennium. That's a million dollars a year. That didn't sound right to me, so I dug into the state budget. I called up a legislator on the general government budget subcommittee to check the numbers. The exact cost of maintenance on the aircraft, pilot salaries, fuel, and all other costs with the governor's use of the plane is around $330,000 a year. One Democratic legislator says he can't figure out why the Gianforte campaign got that number so wrong. State Representative Kelly McCarthy says, quote, I struggle to understand how they got the actual costs so dramatically wrong. And by dramatically wrong, I mean they were off by over 200 percent from the actual appropriations. I reached out to Gianforte campaign spokesperson Aaron Flint, who sent me an email this afternoon. It said, quote, thanks for double checking. The roughly two million dollar savings for the state would be for the first biennium. Again, Flint there, including the cost of the sale of the plane, which would be estimated at between $1.3 and $1.4 million. Now, uh, multiple members of that budget subcommittee spoke to me today uh, from both sides of the aisle, saying that that $660,000 number, that range is the accurate number for how much money they would save if they actually sold the airplane every two years. Live in the Missoula Newsroom, Rex Carlin, back to you.